Okay. The translaminar axis, uh, using the manual drills um, developed by Dr. Thomas Hoogland in 2014, uh, this is an axis that uh, I adapted for stenosis. They was uh, this 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 techniques was initially was developed by Ernia with high migration um, and uh, is a, a technique uh, that they use the to to perform through through the lamina with the manual drills and uh, the entry point. Uh, in is uh, where is placed the 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 this drill. I will explain and next uh, next steps of this presentation. Uh, and uh, it's very interesting because we can to 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 propose a new techniques for stenosis treatment. It's an alternative uh, for. Uh, over the top, because some patients that is submit uh, over the top, the drills of the uh, electric drills is the principal uh, instrument for dural and neurological damages. Then this technique uh, is maybe. Uh, more safe than the over the top. Uh, this is the, the point that I called the by Huglan point with the family permission, of course, because Dr. Huglan uh, developed this technique and uh, I, I don't, uh, I, uh, and don't uh, perform with the, with the coordinates uh, like this one. Then this is the superior pedicles and inferior pedicles. This is the uh, medial pedicular line, and you divide in three, uh, the three, in three, into three parts between the pedicles, and these parts, the scaldal parts, is the point of the entry of these techniques. This this point is very interesting because when you put the drills over here and you make a hole through the lamina, uh, you see the central parts of the triangle of cambing. It's too much safe to, to make uh, a hole through the, through the canal in this point. Um, sorry. This is them. This is the top, the the Huglan point, and in the in the lateral view, you see that this point is this one, and you make a hole with the manual drills that you present in the in next steps, and the lamina, and the, you you get the canal. And you start, and you start with Carinson to open the lamina, the end lamina. This is the lateral view, and another another presentation. Where is the target? This is the Hulan point, and you. This is the target, the imaginary target. Uh, when do you open the end lamina? You you find the medial parts of the, the medial parts of the SAP, the superior articular process of the inferior vertebra. This is an important found during the surgery because the complete uh, liberation of the canal, I, I need to take out these parts of the, the SAP. And uh, here are uh, a picture showing exactly 
this. The, this picture is the same position of this, this picture. Um, and you are, are seeing this, this region, caudal, medial, caudal, medial, and the, these parts of the SAP, it's over here. And you need to take off, to take out these parts for the complete liberation of the canal. This is the ligament flavum, and this is the site of the medial parts of SAP. And here are the radiological point between the two pediculos, and this is the line between them, uh, over the pedicular medial line, you divide in three parts, and this is the target uh, when I show back. It's very interesting because these patients that I underwent of this procedure, of this, this procedures, uh, uh, I keep I keep the posterior spine with the uh, spinous process and inter, 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 inter uh, spinal ligaments is keeping. I just, I just uh, make a, a, a freedom of the recess and medial parts of the canal. I perform bilater uh, bilateral when it's necessary. When I need to 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 make to make a, a liberation of the two parts, and the patient have a multi a multi radicular compromitments with claudication and bilateral, I perform on the both side. Uh, and I see this is the limit that you introduce the equipment, the, the instrument, and the, an imaginary line between this point of the superior plateau of the inferior vertebra. And the limit is the articular between the SAP and IP, uh, when I see over here, and the lateral view. Uh, I'm showing uh, I introduce in the tongue sheet needle And uh, I try with the wire guide, if it feels soft, I'm the ligament flavum. I take out the township needle and I start with the manual drills like this. I use a sensitive with the wire guides and the radiological coordinates. And here are the manual drill. This is wire guide. This, uh, this limit is the ligament flavum. And when he started drilling with the number 04 centimeters of diameter, and I go step by step, one millimeter by one millimeter, until nine millimeters of diameter. And here are, maybe this is the number eight. Number eight. Eight millimeters for diameters. It's too much safe because the extremity is atraumatic. This extremity is atraumatic uh, extremity. When I touch the ligament flavum, uh, I have no damage, uh, neurological damage with this procedure. And uh, we use some special drills. This is the the drills, uh, the common drills that I use uh, in the 
transfer amino 2, but I start with these drills until number seven, and after I use these drills, that is half shaver. Uh, these drills, we have it. Only a half of the circumference is shaped. And here is sweat. See that? It's very interesting. It's too much safe because this, this extremity is a traumatic. When you touch the ligament flavum, uh, you have a stop because this geometry uh, will, 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 will do a stop for the instrument. And here I have the 05, 04, 05, 07, and after I started the drills, the conical drills, the half shaper, and here are the, the later for to start. And uh, now I will show you the, the hole through the lamina. It's very interesting because uh, this, this point where I show you in the, in the initial of the presentation is where I have the principal the principal narrow force of the, the canal. And I start with too much security. This is the ligament flavum. And you see here the lanes, the lanes, beauty from the, for the manual drills. This is number four and number five, zero four centimeters and zero five centimeters. Over here, this lane is, is, for the, is for the 0, 06 and 0, 07. 0, 08 and 0, 09 is out, is too much out. It's just for adapted the work sleeves. Then it's too much safe to make this perforation to the lamina. And here are the two new view when I ja just. Ja uh, I just uh, finished the, the drill, the drill uh, of the emilamina, and uh, here I can use uh, ceramic currents of 0, 0.3, 0, 0.4, and this is too much fast to finish the emilaminectomy. Fast and safe. Um, I spent around uh, uh, 15 minutes for the manual drills and uh, may maybe one half hour for to finish the emilaminectomy. Um, Here are the ligament flavum, and this is the finish of the insertion of the ligament flavum. Cranial, it's over here. This is caudal. Here we will have, we will have after I take up this this parts, I will see the medial part of the SIP that I need to take out too. We can see the free down of ligament flavum. It move, it move. And uh, you see, you see the Free down of ligament flavum, and now with these parts, I start uh, the I, I procedure to take out the ligament flavum after this step. Now you can see 
I'm taken out. The ligament flavum for the completely free down of the canal. With the dural exposure. And here I'm showing a problem of this too much common. I have some bleeding during the surgery, and this is uh, too much difficult. I use the bipolar. It's too much frequently this bleeding from the the bone. And uh, recently, I have used to some 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 substance for for completely stop of bleeding. And uh, now I I'm showing that uh, this patient it's an older woman that I perform three M laminas L3, the both side and L4 only the right side. This patient's had this position, this is VAS that this patient marked for me. And uh, 16 days after, he has only a, a low back pain with uh, six points of VAS. Uh, here are the multiple axes, and I have the two M laminas and the uh, bottom laminas of L3, and this is L4. Uh, and adjacent levels, we have a complex free down. The patient is six year, 66 year old and is uh, free for sports, etc. This is a accommodative access. I perform the L3, L4 for translaminar on the right side and after for transforaminal L45 and L5S1. Of course, this I have the uh, the clinical picture of the patient and and uh, this patient. It's, it's an older woman that perform with this procedure combinate uh, access, and this patient is get worse worse and uh, can walk. Uh, two kilometers per day. And you can see this is uh, the most common when you have the lateral lateral stenosis of the, the canal. This is L4, L5. And you can see over here, I have much problems with the controls of these patients because I start in, during the pandemic, uh, these patients uh, that is get worse, don't back to the, to the off-sea. Uh, you can see this is stenosis, and this is the bilateral, bilateral access for the complete freedom of the canal. And you can see over here, and 3D CT scan, you can preserve the relation between the articular and this patient gets worse, is VAS zero. Okay, the final considerations, I have 45 patients, 45 patients underwent to turn to turn. Uh, group, the group, the age group is 59 years old to 95 years old, he, on average, of the 2.0, you have the preoperator around 52.5% of the incapacity on average. And three months after, after I have 22% 22, 22 of the incapacity. Thank you. This is my presentation. It's a, a single presentation, but this technique is changed the life of most patients of my of my ops. And thanks, Dr. Preston, 
thanks to the the county organizer from the county. Uh, I'm too much proud to be here. And the second, 